Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Crad, a board certified ophthalmologist in Orange County, California. On today's video, I'll discuss which lens I personally think is better, the Symphony or Vivity lens implant. This video is not sponsored. I have no financial interest in either of these lens implants or companies. The Symphony and Vivity lens implants are both extended depth of focus lenses, also known as EDOF lenses. They are the most popular extended depth of focus lenses in the world, so which is better? Before I tell you the answer, I'll explain what EDOF lenses are. Extended depth of focus lenses are lens implants designed to give a patient good far and good intermediate range vision. That way they can see well far and good at intermediate range such as a computer. They intentionally don't give as good near vision when compared to a multifocal in order to decrease the severity of nighttime dysphotopsias such as starbursts, halos, and glare. It's a middle ground between a basic monofocal lens, which provides no range of vision, and a multifocal lens, which gives maximum range of vision. There are many EDOF lenses in the world, but the most popular ones are the Symphony and Vividi lens. These IOLs are lenses which are implanted at the time of cataract surgery or at the time of refractive lens exchange or premium lens replacement. So which one provides better vision? Does one provide better quality of vision than the other? Which one has less nighttime dysphotopsia, such as starburst halos and glare? How about in low contrast settings? Does one perform better than the other? Recently, in the Journal of Cataract and Refractive Surgery, there was a randomized double-blind comparison of 138 eyes. Half of them had the Vividi lens and the other half had the Symphony lens. And they asked patients about their quality of vision. They tested patients at distance, far vision, intermediate range vision, and near. They also tested patients with their visual performance in low contrast settings. The visual performance was a tie at all distances. They basically were the same, whether you were comparing far vision, intermediate, and near vision. Even when they tested the patient's vision under low contrast, they performed the same. In both groups, when they went down to 10% contrast, Patients lost about one and a half lines of acuity at far and about two lines of acuity at near. Where the lenses differed most was in the category of nighttime dysphotopsias. Patients with the Symphony had more starbursts, patients with the Symphony had more halos, and patients with the Symphony had more glare. Starbursts were mild in 65.7% of patients with the Symphony and they were mild in 91.2% with the Vividi. In terms of halos, halos were mild in 82.9% with the Symphony and 100% of the Vividi lens implants. Glare was mild in 80% of the Symphony lenses and 97.1% of the Vividi lenses. Whenever a new lens implant comes out, the most important factors for me are the following. What are the chances the patient can see well with the lens? And how common are the severe side effects? In the case with the Symphony vs. Vividi, the visual performance at distance, intermediate, near, and with low contrast is about the same. However, the chance of moderate to severe side effects with the Vividi is significantly lower than the Symphony. And for that reason, if you are forced to choose between a Vividi lens or Symphony lens today, choose the Vividi. Keep in mind, every patient is different. I'm sure there are some patients that would do better with the Symphony compared to Vividi, but more commonly, the side effects will be less with the Vividi. Also, there is a new Symphony lens available called the Symphony OptiBlue. And this Symphony has a yellow filter on it that slightly reduces dysphotopsia by including a violet light filter. It would be the equivalent of wearing nighttime anti-glare glasses over the regular Symphony. It may help a little, but I would still recommend the Vividi over it unless it can be proven that the Symphony OptiBlue has less moderate to severe nighttime dysphotopsias than the Vividi. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching. Peace.